Hi, good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. This is your host, your guy himself, DLG Repping. Yes, I'm back this afternoon. It's been a little while since I've done a little afternoon thing, but you know what? The main thing is every day. And if I can do Monday morning, then if I can do mon if I can do uh, Monday morning, if I can do morning, afternoon, and evening, I could. And speaking of which, again, um. I do apologise for no show again. Tiredness got the better of me, but that's not an excuse. I should be recording every evening, you know, because I don't work in the evenings. I only work during the day, so I have time to record in the, in the evenings. There's no excuses, but I know why I'm, I'm, I'm doing this because I want to put myself in a better place. I want to succeed on this. I want to go on to help, um, you know, to help myself um, reach that bar that I set. Not the bar below my kneecap, the bar above all. That's how I feel. So, um, I'm just bringing you um, some transfer news and that's involving Manchester City because they're getting closer to signing um, Ruben Diaz from Benfica. The deal has been agreed, 62 to 65 million pounds. Yep. Um, time will tell whether he is going to go on to succeed and be di direct replacement for Vincent Company, who served them for a decade. And um, we know how solid he was and what a uh, colossal he was and a complete leader, captain material. And that's... Um, what um, they're going for. In Ruben Diaz, he's a 22, 23 year old centre half that I do know. I don't. I think he's over six foot tall, maybe six over six foot two tall. So he's a defender that they like. I don't know how quick he is, but I I understand that um, he's um, dominant in the air. So um, it's a good signing for um, Man City. Well, 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 I'll say it's a good signing for Man City. I mean, Man City fans, um, if you care to come onto my channel and um, talk to me about Ruben Diaz, um, Ruben Diaz and give me your opinions and thoughts on him, leave it in the comment section below. I'll be glad to talk Ruben Diaz with you. Um, while you're doing that, and football fans alike around the world, that's to the ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, do um, drop your um, opinions in my comment section below. Smash the thumbs up like button. And remember, uh, smash that subscribe button for me. That's the main thing that I want as well, yeah? To help this channel grow. And I'll help you guys by bringing you the up-to-date football context. But um, speaking of which, I'm going to go into um, Monday's gossip column on the BBC Interactive. So let's see what's the, what's been talked about today. Right, Man United. Yes, um, I've heard um, stories that they have uh, made a surprise inquiry about N'Golo Kante. And um, it, it could be a case of um, asking the Chelsea midfielder to cut his, 300, to cut his big 300,000 a week wages. <laughs> That's a... <laughs> Sacrifice that only a good Kante would um, choose to do, but if he decides to go Manchester United, and um, here I'm hearing Manchester United are also preparing the final 90 million bid to sign England midfielder Jadon Sancho from Borussia Dortmund this week, having missed out on Jack Grealish and uh, um, Gareth Bale and Jack Grealish. Yeah, they are so interested in Jadon Sancho; they have not kept that one quiet, and they're not going to keep it a quiet. They really believe they will get their man, even possibly it could happen on transfer deadline day. Well, I'm reading here that um, Man United could allow, um, and um, well, it says here from the Sun, Lazio could make a move for Manchester United midfielders, 32 year old Spaniard Juan Mata and Brazilian Andres Pereira. Wow. Um, Jadon Sancho was um, written by the Mill, and um, the other one, Agudo Kante from the Mirror. And there we go. 
I've spoken about it already. Um, once Benfica's once Benfica's Portugal defender Ruben Dias, who is 23, as it says here, confirms he's moved to Manchester City. It could free up City Spain defender Eric Garcia to rejoin Barcelona. Yes, Garcia is still all in that for a move for Barcelona. Um, he played yesterday and um, it wasn't his um, best game. He, along with the back four, were completely poor. Very poor, and um, it wouldn't surprise me if Pep Guardiola has laid into him and his um, fellow defenders because <laughs> never in his managerial career Pep Guardiola has conceded five in a defeat. Yeah, that's an extraordinary stat. The man has been that great of a manager over the years. He has never, or great as a head coach over the years, he has never conceded five as a head coach. Well, you know what they say. It's the first time for everything. <laughs> and um, that Benfica um, defender, Ruben Diaz, that's um, been written by someone in the sport. Right. Oh, this is a good one here. This is involving um, Tottenham because AC Milan remaining talks with Tottenham over Ivory Coast right back Serge Aurier and have also inquired about City's, Norwich City's 20-year-old um, right back Max Ahrens. <clears throat> oh, and um, the last bit of news here is about Arsenal because Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, Arsenal and Gabon striker Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, has said he turned down the chance to sign for Barcelona as well as several other clubs to stay with the Gunners, and that was obviously for two reasons. Um, Aubameyang was convinced by Mikel Arteta about the project and how. Arteta plans to make this project succeed and um, the direction of the football club. Hence the reason why he signed a new contract, which um, in wages could um, be up to £375,000 a week. But he has deserved it because he's done his job. Ozu has not deserved, deserved it because he's not done his job, he's not performed and um, he should be sold. But for me, for some reason, I don't believe he'll be sold. It's more likelihood that he will stay until the end of his contract and keep collecting that three hundred and fifty thousand pounds a week, which um, for me is disgusting and um, it's ah oh, torturing inside. It's torturing for me inside and it's torturing for millions of Arsenal supporters inside because he is not wanted by the fans for the vast majority of the fans and he's definitely not wanted by me for sure. Right. Right, and that's um the transfer gossip done and that's um Manchester City's um talk about Ruben Diaz um, becoming their player done. So I'm gonna wrap this up and say ladies to the gentlemen, to the boys and the, to the girls again, thank you for listening, thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in. I'll be back for this evening for sh for definitely if I don't, then I deserve the criticism that I deserve. Leave it in the comment section below. But I'll be back. My, my aim is to be back this evening with team news. With the starting 11, the substitution bench. And um, I'll be giving you my thoughts of the formation he picks and the starting 11. Meaning the individuals that he's picked as well. So I look forward to uh, giving you that information. Well, that my um, opinion on that. And um, bear in mind... Um, Yep, I've reached 50 subscribers and um, I want to continue to reach more than 50 subscribers. So, yeah, as I always say, leave, leave a comment, leave um, your opinions or your thoughts in my comment section below. Smash the thumbs up like button if you don't mind, please do so. And please um, help me by smashing the subscribe button, left, right and centre galore. Yep, hard and passionately. That's all I want to see is that number of subscribers go up in levels. Thank you, for, thank you again and um, enjoy your morning or should I say enjoy your afternoon. Hope you enjoyed your morning, but enjoy your afternoon and I'll be back this evening. Laters.